I wanted to say that I do know you, by the way. You said that I didn't, but I do. I know that you still cut the crust of your toast, that you bite your nails when you're nervous, sometimes when you're feeling shy, that you could run intellectual rings around anybody, but you don't because you're basically a very good person. Maybe we could help people like before. You're a beautiful writer, Maeve. You can have more expensive dreams than four chairs and some windows. You mean take their money? That wasn't the only thing the clinic was about, Otis. This is entirely about the money. Yeah. You look great. Okay, but seriously, what's wrong with boyfriend? It's just someone else let you down, isn't it? And we sort of stopped being friends and grew apart. Oh. My mum's a drug addict. She tries not to be, but she is. I haven't seen her for a while. It's different this time. I've got a proper sponsor. I've been clean for a year. She's been clean for two years. Yeah, well, we've all heard that one before. You don't know me. Or my mum. Yeah, hello. Hi, um... Hi, this is Erin. Leave a message. I need to report a child at risk. Nobody wants you here. Bye-bye. Hi, Mum. It's Maeve. Uh, listen, I know you're not speaking to me, but I really think we should talk. Call me back. I miss you. Because you have an illness. What? You do! I'm sorry! And I know it's not your fault, and I know you're trying, but you haven't beaten it yet. And you might not for a really long time. That doesn't mean I won't always love you. You go back to Adams with me. Because I'll always love you, Mum. Even if you hate me. You did this. I know you've been using it against her lie. Please just take it before I change your mind. You're our mum. She just wants you to get better so you can be together all the time. Because everyone always lets me down. You never accept help from anyone, ever, because you're too proud. I wanted to do a nice thing. I don't mean nice things. Oh, because you're so above it all and strong. This is too much. You're too much. I messed it up with you. That wasn't an apology. That was just another excuse. If you grow up knowing that the people who are meant to make sure you survive just left you, it leaves a lot of scars. You act like you don't give a shit about anyone, but really it's just to keep people out. You've done it to Otis and now you're doing it to me! I don't keep everyone out. Yes, you do! No, I don't. And you're probably going to do the same thing to Isaac and end up hurting everyone. What did it say? The voicemail. Doesn't matter. It was ages ago. It matters to me. You're right. I just doesn't understand me. You take her things. But neither do you. Because if you did, you'd know that I don't trust anyone. But I trusted you. Hi, Maeve. I feel really guilty, like I've left you behind or something. <laughs> you never left me behind. I'm watching you on TV right now. <laughs> and I wanted to let you know how proud I am of you. So I was thinking that maybe we could be each other's mums. Thanks, Mum. You're welcome, Mum. You waited. Of course. This has always been you. I love you. It wasn't just about the money for me. I wanted to be close to you, too. Did you mean it? Of course I meant it. How are you? I mean it. Thanks again, Mum. I've changed my mind. Impossible. About what? America. So this is goodbye? No. No. It's see you soon.